Hello everybody, so uh, I'm in the middle of a Bosch DD5 repair and I figured I'd share it with you guys just uh, just to document it because it seems like it's going well, so uh, I want to share it. So the problem with this effect is that there is a, there's a dry signal going through, but there's no delay. So we're here with the schematic and uh, we're just going to try and fix it. So the first thing that we want to check out are the voltages. Now I already checked out all the voltages and they all checked out fine, but I just want to go through this real quick with you guys. So the first thing that we checked was whether or not we had some voltage at the jack over here. So between pins, uh, let's say two and one, um, are we getting the nine volts? And so we were, so that was good. There's a five volt regulator uh, right here. So uh, what I want to know is, are we getting our five volts? And we could check that at, uh, let's see, at the output here, or we could check it at C15, but long story short, that was also fine. Um, so that seemed okay. The next thing we want to do is make sure that our bias is uh, being generated. So this right here is the five volts coming from here. So we should have 2.5 volts here at in between R47 and R46, and that checked out as well. Uh, another thing that we have to make sure of is we are getting our power to whatever uh, chips that we have. So for example, here we have IC2 right here. And so we want to make sure that this looks like 9 volts and 9 volts is right here at the output of this regulator uh, transistor. So uh, that was there at these, these two op amps or this one op amp, I suppose, uh, was getting its power just fine. Uh, next we had IC3 this guy and this guy and this one's being powered by a different source this is uh, 5 volts over here so you just need to make sure that 5 volts is getting to IC3 over here and so that checked out as well so we were getting all of our correct voltages and where they needed to be and all that so I decided you know what I think it's just time to start uh, hooking up a signal and uh, figuring out you know whether or not our signal is getting through so I have a signal generator all up here it's at 531 Hertz about and uh, 770 no 0.7 volts so 700 millivolts signal going in I should probably lower that a bit there you go about about 500 millivolts uh, going in there and that's going into the input and what I did was I traced I traced out okay is it going through all of these stages here so I, I got it all the way up to pin 5 of IC6 because if you see our uh, our schematic here it goes into this op amp then our signal goes into there then it goes into here then out of pin 7 through R100 and into pin 5 and also uh, apparently it also goes down into here through 101 and into pin 7 as well okay so that that ended up checking out and I was getting signal all the way up to this chip so that's good too so I see six over here it seems to be an analog to digital converter of some sort and it is hooked up to this it seems like this is a processor of some sort and it's hooked up to it through these SPI communication lines into here this seems like some sort of memory bank and uh, this seems like yeah it seems like this is some sort of microcontroller of some sort um, We'll verify that later. Uh, but the main thing is this data is now being routed to this chip right here. This is IC7 and the output of IC7 is on left out and right out over here. And I was getting signal, so output signal was going through all this digital stuff and it was getting to as far as C14 and C13. So I tested those and when it goes to C13 and C14, it then goes all the way to this effect level board and then comes back. This one too goes to the effect level level board and then it also comes back into C6 and C8. And so I tested for signal at C8 and C6 and I wasn't getting anything. So we were getting signal going into this board but we weren't getting anything coming out so we're gonna check out the board now and see what's wrong with it and if you're interested in knowing what chips are on here we have an AK5347 VS and that happens to be a 16-bit ADC uh, the next 
thing so that communicates with this right here now this one I couldn't find a lot of information on but I did find a forum post where they did actually use that chip in a boss PS3 and uh, they also mentioned that it was in a DD5 right here so this is the processor chip TC25SC080AU-104 uh, that is communicating with some DRAM so this MN41C4 let's see C4 4256 ASJ that's all the way over here and you can see there's there's a DRAM this is a DRAM chip uh, this is also communicating with a microcontroller an M37470 and that happens to be a Mitsubishi microcomputer or a microcontroller and um, that is taking in that is interfacing with some of the peripherals like for example the control one control two the mode switches and and uh, or um, the mode dials and all that stuff so that is where that is interfacing with and last but not least we have the UPD 6379 GR it looks like it might be a QR there but uh, mainly it's a UPD 6379 and that is a two channel 16 bit digital to analog converter for audio applications what do you know so we have two channels coming out of this uh, D to A converter over here and we can test those out and we, we determined that going to the effect level board was uh, the problem. So um, on pins one and five from that ribbon cable, we're seeing that we do in fact have signal. Now those two are the wires that are taking the signal to that board. However, the, uh, the wires that are taking the signal from that board we're not getting anything on it so those are pins uh, four and one it seems no four and two four and two and we're not getting anything there and nothing there so there's nothing coming back from this board now I want to make sure that we're getting the signal to the board in the first place okay so that's one the other one we need to figure out now. Seems like pin one is getting there and pin two has a signal coming out of it. So uh, pin one is getting there and the signal is, is there but it's not coming back here. So to me what this looks like is that the ribbon cable, there might be something wrong with the ribbon cable. Not so much with the, uh, with the knob but I think we have a weird connection going on. So let's reflow the solder on that, on that ribbon cable and see if uh, that fixes it. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to replace the wires in the ribbon cable. All right, so I just soldered, uh, or just tinned the solder on this ribbon cable. And so outside is still fine. Seems like those outside is still fine. And we're still not getting signal on pin two. And on pin four here, ah, still not getting nothing on there. Oh, look at that. All right, so you know what that tells me? That tells me it's an intermittent problem with the ribbon cable. And I think I'm just going to go directly to replacing the ribbon cable itself. We'll see if that fixes the issue. So I wiggled the ribbon cable just a little bit and, well, yeah, I think there's a problem here. And after replacing that ribbon cable, we've got a working delay. So